Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. In today's video, we'll see how to reset filters or how to apply all filters. So generally, in, it happens in real time that you know after selecting you know multiple selection on filter shelf, we would like to reset that using a single click. So let us create a use case here. So I'm going to a sample superstore here and creating a simple view using our category and subcategory as our dimension and breaking it out with respect to my measure. Now I want to give control to the end user to select the category and subcategories. For that, I'm just clicking on this and show filter. These two things I'm doing. Now user will select whatever the category item he needs and whatever the subcategory he needs from that category item. So now what I'm doing is I'm creating a button here. And for that, I'm creating a new sheet and renaming it as reset or apply whatever you want, you can write it here. So I'm just writing it as reset. And I've created one dummy calculation with the name reset here, so that you know it is uh, visible as button on the screen and dropping it on the label here. So let us make it uh, the alignment center here. And I'm just uh, adding some square here and increasing the size. Now what I'm doing is, creating one dashboard for this and dropping my sheet which has the filters and then i'm also dropping my reset button that i've created so let us make our category multiple drop down here same for our sub category as well multiple drop down and let us arrange them so i'm just moving it to top and the same as my subcategory here, same as same for my reset button here. Okay, all are in place for us now. Let me move the subcategory here. I'm hiding the title for reset. I'm making it entire view. Okay, it's fine. So let us adjust, let's do a little formatting here. Okay, so I'm moving it this side. So you can format accordingly, like how you want in your visualization to be. You can even use the shapes to get this. Now, what you need to do is it is very simple. You need to write a, an action or you need to define an action. Go to dashboard, action, and here add action of filter type. Okay, so what you need to do is on select of my reset button. So click on select the reset sheet my target or impacted sheet should be this sheet five. So select that. So when you have multiple sheets, you need to select only reset thing in the first and the target all should be selected except that reset button. But here the important point to remember is your target filters. You have to specifically use whatever the filters that you have used. So in our view, we have used category and subcategories. So I'm gonna use that here in my selected field thing and uh, click on this because this shoe two should be impacted click ok and on doing so i need to show all the values here when i click that so do that click ok here click ok that's it now let us go here select one remove one from category select a few from subcategories here now when i click on this reset you know i'm getting all the values here See? Same thing, let us do it again. Only technology I've selected. In subcategory, I'm selecting only machines and phones. And I click on reset, I'm getting all. So that's it from my side in this video. Hope you like it. Please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you. Have a good day. Bye-bye.